This is another kind of self-portrait. If we th think of the Filipino Lippi as being a kind of snapshot, a glance caught in a mirror, and Passerotti as possibly being a formal self-presentation, this is a show-off. This is Franz van Mieris, called the Elder. He had a grandson. It was a dynasty of painters. And Franz van Mieris was based in Leiden, in Holland. And he was a pupil of Gerrit Dau, who was the founder of a school known as the Feinskilders, the fine painters. Franz van Mieris, I think, is arguably the best of them. The technique is miraculous. It doesn't matter how close you go to this painting, you will never see a brush stroke. It's so precise. It deceives the eye totally. If we look at the back of the chair there, I swear you can see the texture of the leather and the way the tacks dent the leather. It's a chair, but the detail is absolutely phenomenal. So what is Franz van Mieris doing in this? He's again appealing to his patrons. This school of painting, though less known now, was fabulously successful in its day. And Franz van Mieris and indeed Gerrit Dau worked almost pri pr primarily for royalty and the nobility. Their paintings sold for fabulous sums. Uh, Gerrit Dau was a pupil of Rembrandt. Rembrandt, as we know, died in poverty. Gerrit Dau, meanwhile, was one of the richest men in Europe. Mieris deserved it all. It's perfect. It's a perfect image. If you look at this satin, this was, a, this was a speciality. He's wearing what almost amounts to fancy dress. And again, it's to appeal to his audience. An incredibly elaborate, almost a minstrel's outfit made up of satin, and every thread, practically, of the satin can be seen in complete detail, the reflections on this fabric. The slashing in, in the, um, the bodice there, you can see the threads fraying at the corners of all of those little slashes. What's he playing? Well, he's playing a fiorbo. A fiorbo, it's a kind of... difficult to describe. It's like a lute with aspirations to be a guitar, but it has this curious Y-shaped thing at the top, a double tuning, famously difficult to play, actually. And so, again, that's part of this role-playing he's doing. He's presenting himself to a princely patron as a cultured man, not just the most perfect technician alive at the time, but also cultured, a musician, enjoying a landscape, and again, that landscape glowing in the distance, extraordinary. On this table here, there is a little bowl of water and something else which is too small for these pathetic spectacles to register, to be perfectly honest. But you can bet, if you get out the microscope, you'll see what it is. And if it was baked, it'll have crumbs. <laughs>